Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Star Lord. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and in today's video we're gonna have a short one talking about an awesome concept design in Fortnite Battle Royale that may just make its way into Season 4. This concept design is actually being requested by a load of people, especially over on Reddit, and I think that the Epic employees have also actually commented about this, about them wanting to actually implement it into the game. So you never know, Season 4 may actually be the time, or the season I guess, that Fortnite devs actually add in this awesome feature into the game. Now before we get into the video guys, talking about all of that, please do not forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Fortnite glitches, guides, videos and all of that kind of stuff, including giveaways. I've actually got a giveaway planned for Season 4 uh, where I actually give you guys money so that you can actually buy the Season 4 uh, Battle Pass itself um, and I'm going to pick a couple of winners for that because it's pretty cheap. Uh, now before we do actually get into the video too guys, I want to say thank you very much for the recent support in the channel. You guys are awesome and uh, yeah, just just all round firm handshakes to all of you guys so thank you very very much okay so as I was saying this feature is going to be really cool a lot of people have been upvoting it on reddit and everything like that I don't think I've actually seen anyone talk about it now for around about a month or two like genuinely people have just kind of forgotten about it but everyone still knows that it would be an awesome idea and feature to actually be put into Fortnite Battle Royale so, remember when backblings wasn't a thing, you know, nobody actually knew that they wanted backblings until they saw backblings. And then, now you get people buying, ba like, character skins just for the backblings themselves. I mean, for example, the Tomato Town guy that is coming out very soon, he comes with an actual, uh, I guess it's a pizza kind of box to actually put onto your back, which is really, really cool. And I think a lot of people are actually just going to buy that costume just so they can get that pizza box on their back and I know for a fact a lot of people have only bought their love ranger just for the wings so they can actually put it onto different characters because the wings do kind of look like the best backlings I mean if we're being honest here it kind of is the best backling in the game apart from the battle hounds kind of cape but anyway like I said not many people actually knew that they wanted that until they actually added it into the game and once they did add it into the game a lot of people were like well now that we can mix and match our back blings with different characters how about we actually are able to actually mix and match our head pieces with different characters too and a lot of people went batshit about this I mean they were going crazy about it they wanted it and they even made a couple of designs unfortunately I wasn't able to actually get my hands on some of the designs but I did create a couple myself to actually show you guys in today's video to kind of persuade you a little bit and the reason why I made these designs and the reason why I'm actually making this video is kind of to get a lot of people behind the idea because believe it or not epic games really listen to the community I mean I actually said this on a video around about two days ago, but did you know that Haunted Hills wasn't actually Epic's idea? Did you know it was a fan of the game who created Haunted Hills and then Epic Games actually added it into the game like about a month later? Yeah, genuinely that happened. So basically, they do things that they know the community are really going to like and some ideas that are from the community are actually implemented into the game, believe it or not. So, what I'm going to be showing you on screen are five images, I believe it's five anyway, that I created yesterday, or earlier today even, sorry. And uh, the first one is on screen right now, and it is the Cuddle Bright character. And as you can see, it is the bright armor with the actual headpiece of the, uh, I guess it's the Love Bunny? I can't remember what it is. It's the, it's the Cuddle Team Leader, that's it, yeah. But as you can see, this headpiece looks really good on this character itself, because it's it's a very easy headpiece to put on to different people because basically it's just a little kind of I don't know, it's like a, a little mascot helmet, right? So it's pretty easy. I mean, you're not actually replacing somebody's head and putting it onto a different head. You're just replacing the outer rim. So basically, you know, the hat or the headwear inside or on top of the head even so this one personally for me looks really good I know for a fact that if I was able to do this I would definitely buy the bright armor because I really like the armor itself and I really like the cuddles team leader head It's kind of funny, you know, but it looks really really good I'll admit that now the next one that I actually created was a little bit poopy to be honest But you guys kind of get the gist you can mix and match everything and on screen right now We have the dark bright 
kind of like the Dark Knight, but the Dark Bright. And as you can see, it is the bright, uh, the bright outfit with the actual dark helmet from season one. The dark, uh, the dark, what is it? The Dark Knight helmet, I guess it is. I'm not too sure. But anyway, as you can see, it looks pretty badass. It looks very un. It looks weird because it's not like you know, it's not meant to go together, but you're allowed to put it together, and that's the kind of cool thing about this game. It's, it's, it's giving us customization options that are really, really cool and out of the box, and I don't know, I think that some people may actually find this pretty funny and may find it pretty cool, you know? So, you know, there's something for everyone if you're able to do this kind of thing. The next one that we're going to look at is the Cuddle Raven, and as you can see, it is the Raven skin with the actual Cuddle Team Leader head. It looks really crazy just because, you know, it's it's obviously such a dark, sinister character, but it's actually got a little kind of creepy head on top of it. So, I don't know. Again, another really random one, but still, it just shows you how much customization this game could eventually have if they were to add this option into it itself. Now, this next one was actually liked by one or two of my friends, and I think it goes really well. It's actually the Dark Knight helmet with the Raven itself, and I thought that was really cool. I thought, you know, it blends really cool, blends very awesome, and it just kind of goes together really well. Unfortunately, for the actual image that I've shown off right here, I had to kind of make the helmet a little bit bigger, so it won't look exactly like that. The head won't be huge like it is right now, but still, you know, that kind of just shows you that this helmet could work with a couple of other skins, you know? I really like this one personally I think it's really cool uh, and I believe this is the last one that's coming up right now it was just kind of a messy round one or I believe this is the second last one and it's on screen right now and it is called the Ravasaur the Ravasaurus Rex and as you can see it is the Raven skin with the actual uh, I guess the T-Rex kind of outfit head piece on him and I thought this one again went really well with it obviously because it's got the eyes and the mouth and everything it's all dark I thought it was really cool to be honest I really enjoyed this one and I would definitely wear that because I've got both of those skins so I would definitely wear that headpiece with the raven skin just to troll and have shits and giggles I guess so uh, and I believe I said I have one more and it is on screen right now and once again it is the uh, the love a bear thingy, you know, but instead it's actually with the spacesuit and again, it looks pretty cool You know, I mean it's a perfect fit because that's kind of how big the normal helmets are on the spacesuits anyway Except, you know, obviously you've got those little tiny ears that are poking out and everything but again they look very cool. I know for a fact that a lot of people would find these really funny. I mean, if I saw that guy rocking up to me, I would shit myself, to be honest. It looks insanely cool. Um, especially, like, the Rex and the uh, and the Raven. That was a good one, too. Uh, but anyway, let me know what you think in the comment section below, guys. Do you think that this is a good idea? Would you like to see it implemented into Fortnite Battle Royale sometime within Season 4? I personally believe that... Epic Games have been working on a load of things for Season 4, and they are gonna re they are gonna surprise us. I mean, I'm pretty sure that somewhere on Reddit, there was a post by an Epic Games uh, employee. I'm not 100% sure about this, but they said that Season 4 is gonna knock everyone's socks off, you know, kind of be incredible. So, you know, I really hope so indeed. I hope that this feature is implemented, as, again, I did say that in the past, they have actually said that, uh, you know, this could be something added into the game. Like, they want to do something where you can remove the head blings, you know, or that, the head pieces and stuff like that. So, you never know. After they saw that post about people saying, are we allowed to change head pieces? Maybe they thought, well, hey, that's a pretty good idea. I mean, we were going to let you take them off. But now, I guess, you know, let's allow you to kind of change them around and kind of mess around and see how weird and awesome your characters look after you've customized them to their full potential. Um, other than that, there is a couple of other things that a lot of people have asked for, such as, like, changing skin colors and everything like that. You know, like, instead of, like, uh, the pink bear being pink, it could be blue, it could be black, it could be white, you know, all that kind of stuff. That would be really cool, too, but I feel like maybe that would take the rarity array from the actual skins themselves. So I don't think something like that's going to happen, but I do believe that head blings or, you know, head pieces, uh, which are changeable, will be a thing in the future in this game, especially one maybe in Season 4. Uh, so anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching today's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. Keep an eye on the channel for a lot of news uh, regarding Season 4 because obviously it is coming up to the day. Uh, I guess it's like a week away or two weeks away now, and Epic Games will be released content or you know a little bit of a uh, hint on what we can expect so if you guys want to be the first to know all of that make sure to subscribe turn on notifications and i will not let you down yeah, but anyway guys thank you very much for watching today's video have an awesome day and until next time i've been star lord 
Oh, see ya.